Man, shout out to Dante's oh, Boxing yeah, Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You're hearing it from Floyd Money Mayweather. Yeah, it's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> If you know, you know. Now, if you know what I've been preaching, then you already know everything Terrence Crawford said basically co-signed everything I've been preaching so far. That being said, I'm glad Terrence Crawford came out and addressed Lomachenko. And Terrence stated that he's absolutely pound for pound number one. And he also brought up Lomachenko and stated that people... Claim Lomachenko is pound for pound number one, and he fought all these great fighters. However, Linares, for example, he already been knocked out twice, and that's like the best name on his resume. So, that being said, Terrence Crawford, he stated he fought undefeated world champions before. He fought undefeated Olympians before, and he came on top in a dominant fashion. He knocking these cats out. He also stated that People gave a lot of credit to Errol Spence watching Lamar Pearson. However, he beat the guy that beat Lamar Pearson, which is Diaz, the gold medalist. And at the time, they were claiming Terrence Crawford was ducking him. And after fighting Postal, the number 140 pounder at the time, and dominating him, he fought Diaz right after that and stopped him with ease. So that being said, Terrence Crawford's resume speaks for itself and his dominance and his present in the ring is felt and heard throughout the world we all know what time it is when it comes to terence crawford if you don't then you're a casual fan period so basically terence crawford is saying give credit where credit is earned because you know you can't be giving lomachenko and errol spence all this credit and not give me my credit when i'm doing a better job and he's not lying that being said I believe Errol Spence gets a lot of credit for being Lamar Pearson the way he did, especially knowing that Lamar Pearson almost beat Danny Garcia. And at the same time, you got to give Terrence Crawford a lot of credit for schooling a gold medalist the way he did. And, and his next fight is supposedly against the two-time gold medalist. So we'll see if Timothy Bradley is going to come out this time and claim that if Terrence Crawford dominates this two-time gold medalist, then he's pound for pound number one without any question. Because we all know Timothy Bradley came out stating leading up to the Campbell versus Lomachenko fight, if Loma is able to dominate Luke Campbell, a gold medalist, then he will put him as pound for pound number one over Terrence Crawford. He claimed that Terrence is his boy. That's my guy. But he got to be honest, right? That's what he stated. And with friends like Timothy Bradley, who needs enemies, right? That being said, we'll see if Timothy Bradley is going to come out and state that if Terrence Crawford is able to do something Lomachenko wasn't able to do against the gold medalist, and that's dominate his next opponent that's supposedly a two-time gold medalist, then that will for sure make him pound for pound number one. Because you got to keep in mind, this is another day in the office for Terrence Crawford. He beat a gold medalist, Gamboa, knocked him out. He beat another gold medalist like Flex Diaz. And we saw what he did to him. He toyed with a man. Meanwhile, Lomachenko got dropped against Linares and against Lil Campbell. He got hurt multiple times and claimed that was his toughest fight to this day. So there's definitely a difference in class and Terrence Crawford is on a league of his own. That being said, even though Terrence Crawford next opponent is not a named opponent at the welterweight division, however, he's still a very dangerous opponent because he's a two-time gold medalist. You don't win two gold medals by luck. It's by design, it's by hard work and dedication, and the man had to have some type of talent to win them two gold medals. That being said, Terrence Crawford, by Bob Arum own claim, 
he the best fighter he has, the best talent. However, Lomachenko is more marketable. And the million dollar question is, if Bob Arum claimed that Lomachenko is more marketable, that's why he promoted him more. It's not because he has the complexion for the protection and he's on the hope list. He's claiming it's because he's more marketable, right? And if that's the case, how come Lomachenko, even though he's getting endorsements, he's getting all these commercials and he getting promoted and hyped up, Bob Arum is even lying on his behalf, claiming that Lomachenko is the best pound for pound fighter and he's the best fighter he ever seen since Muhammad Ali, all to promote Lomachenko and he still can't sell in the States. He have to send Lomachenko to the UK, to Australia, different places in the world in order to sell the fight by using his opponent's fans in their country. That's what you call being marketable. So the million dollar question is, how come Lomachenko, even though he getting more pushed, he's still doing less numbers than Terrence Crawford on ESPN? We don't know the ESPN Plus app. However, when they both fought on regular ESPN, Terrence Crawford topped and he washed Lomachenko numbers when it comes to the ratings he did on ESPN. Terrence Crawford holds the highest ratings on ESPN at 1.8 million average views when he fought Benavides. Lomachenko never been close to that. So all that marketable ploy and promoting Lomachenko, pushing Lomachenko, and he still can't even do more than what Terrence Crawford is doing on his regular day. That being said, at the end of the day, we all know what time it is. Terrence Crawford is on the coincidental list and Lomachenko is on the hope list. So that's why Lomachenko get pushed more than Terrence Crawford is. So like I said before, since ESPN and top rank is not even being fair to Terrence Crawford, let alone being loyal, why should Terrence Crawford stick with them and not leave and go to the PBC? That's just fools for thoughts. At the end of the day, I want Terrence Crawford to do what's best for his career. And obviously, he's the best pound for pound fighter today. And his resume proves it. Hate or love it. At the end of the day, Terrence Crawford is the closest thing to a Floyd Money Mayweather today. So Errol Spence is on his way up and they're looking to clash. So we'll see who is going to come up on top when it comes to that fight in particular. So be on the lookout for the cookout. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. Um, so if my voice is a little different, that's why. So check out my new show, Split Decision. I just dropped episode three. It was very entertaining. So check that out and tell me who won the debate. Professor Nim feel like it was a split decision. I thought I knocked him out. And his corner didn't throw in the towel. So he didn't want to surrender. So I had to put him on that KO. You know what I'm saying? So uh, like I said, subscribe below. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. Follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV. All these links will be in the description box below. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace and we out of here.